to Midtown! What? Guess what, guys? I'm alive! <laughs> it's true! You're not looking at the reanimated corpse of me. There ain't two wily dudes weekend at bernie me right now. No strings attached. Great album. For those of you out there who just watch this channel and don't watch You Deserve a Drink or follow any social media of mine, you might have been a little worried. But I assure you, everything is great. I just needed a little break. Just saying the words a little break makes me crave a mini Kit Kat. Speaking of mini Kit Kats, that's a segue for the ages. I had so many trick-or-treaters this year that I had to, midway through the evening, run to Party City, grab like eight more bags of candy and come back here. And you know what pisses me off? Let me go get the leftovers. Those little heathens dressed up as Captain America, all they want is the good chocolate, the Reese's Cups, etc. And now I'm left with just a shitload of airheads and Laffy Taffy. Do these things still tell jokes? What does the bunny say on January 1st? What? Oh, Happy New Year. Fuck you, Laffy Taffy. What do you call a cow with a twitch? Beef jerky. I retract the fuck you. That was pretty good, Laffy Taffy. So I got this ass load of leftover candy. Meanwhile, Grace Helbig and I threw Hannah Hart. Why am I yelling? <laughs> Grace and I threw Hannah a 30th birthday uh, like a week ago, and this is how good I am at cleaning up. Still on the wall, still on the ceiling. We had so much food here for her, including insanely large pizzas. But the only thing left over is this bowl of mini chips. Currently my house is like the dream sleepover when you go to your friend's house when you're like 10 years old and their parents buy name brand snacks. When you get to eat Funyuns and not just onions, your mom threw some garlic powder on. <laughs> anyway, that was a tangent. I'm here and I'm excited to be back and I want to make more videos and I'm sorry I left you. I know it couldn't have been easy out there all alone with millions of other videos to watch and even other videos that I made. I know there was a void in your heart that you just didn't know how to fill. I'm the void of the heart. To that I say, buck up, bitch. It's YouTube. Have fun with it. Since you last saw me, God, I don't know when that was, but I think since you last saw me, I moved into a different house. I've gone to several countries. I released a movie. I just got back from Italy yesterday. But one thing definitely hasn't changed, and that's my love for beans. Get in here. Beans are. Hey, biscuit. Tiny legs, matchstick legs, little nose, bubblegum tongue. Bitch don't know her 80 names. Beansers, she's here and she's just as cute as ever. Look, did she look tinier? When I haven't seen Beans for like a week when I go out of town, I come back and I think she looks smaller. Hey Beans. Hey Beans, did you miss making Mame Town videos? Have you felt cold not being in the spotlight? Is that why you're wearing this tiny sweater? I love her so much. And in this new house, she has a yard and she just soaks up the sun like, who sang that song? Cheryl Crow. There's way too much to catch you up on that's gone down in the last few months. But there is one fun thing I wanted to tell you guys about. And that is, I got hacked last week. My Twitter and my Snapchat got hacked and it was a fucking nightmare. It was the morning after Hannah's birthday. So I wake up to like, a trashed house because so many people came to it and we had the best time. A trashed brain, just completely like college level hungover, slept in all my clothes, top to bottom, including shoes. And I wake up to like, I don't know, 20 missed calls and so many text messages and tweets, etc. You guys are so sweet who tweeted, uh, letting me know that I was hacked. And that is not a fun way to wake up. Well, what's crazy is once I got the Twitter back, I actually got a DM from my hacker. I mean, thank God this hacker was nice and I'm assuming like 12 years old because it was very innocent. They didn't post any like disgusting, gross porn pics or anything, but I was just shocked that they reached out. And so naturally I responded and I'd like to read 
a dramatic reading of the screen grabs of the Hacker and I's conversation. Would you like that? Still can't hear you. Do not care, said our government. <laughs> Here we go. So you aren't confused on which is which. I will be playing <laughs> the thing. I'm not even drunk, you guys. I'm filming this at 9 a.m. like a goddamn responsible adult. I will be playing the role of myself in a hat, and then I will be playing <laughs> I can't speak, I'm so out of practice. The role of the hacker sans hat. Cause hats off to your stupid hacking skills. I mean, who still even hacks? It's 2016? When I think of hackers, I think of Sandra Bullock in the net, okay? When I think of hackers, I think of the mid to late 90s, you know? You got the cardigans playing, you got a severely angular, stacked bob haircut, some wide leg jeans, sweaters with the thumb holes. I'm just describing my ideal look. Back to business. Hello, sorry I managed to hack your accounts. Can I give your Snapchat back to you? Yes, I would love that. This is not a fun thing to wake up to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Insert password right here. That's the password for your Snapchat. I can give you tips with security because the one you have right now is not good, mate. Why do you do this when you're obviously a nice person? Promoting my account. Just post actual funny or cool or heartfelt or something shit. No one wants to follow a dick and hacking someone that they like is a dick move. My friend posted the dumb tweet. I only did the promotion for my account. It's just very uncool. Waking up to 40 text messages and 20 missed calls because your Twitter got hacked is very uncool. I don't know. I just want to be a better person than that. We're all different, mate. Clearly. And clearly, I'm not your mate. Lol. Well, you got your accounts back. Enjoy your day. Bye. And scene. So yeah, last week I got hacked and I decided to seize the moment and try to turn that hacker around. I wanted him to see the error of his ways. It did not work. There was a brief moment there before I realized that this hacker was probably, you know, a uh, pre-prepescent boy. That I wondered, is this how I fall in love? Is this love story going to turn into a book deal and then subsequently turn into a film called He Hacked Into My Heart? Nope, it was just really annoying and I was locked out of my account during the entire election and uh, it was fucking annoying. Beansers, get in here. Come here, Beans. Biscuitville. Tiny Tappin' Toes. Princess Sandpaper Tongue. When will that dog learn its name? <laughs> I'm gonna try to make more videos. I'm gonna try to do you right. I like that. Bye.